So far in this unit 15 polymers, we have discussed the classification of polymers, then we had discussed what are addition polymers, what are the different types of addition polymers that is homopolymers and copolymers, then condensation polymers, then polyesters, polyamides etc. Now only two minor topics are left and that is biodegradable polymers. Biodegradable degradable polymers. A major drawback with the polymers is that because of their branch structure they are non-biodegradable. There is a category of polymers that is aliphatic polyesters. Aliphatic polyesters. These are biodegradable. Two important examples of aliphatic poly polyesters which are biodegradable polymers. Number one is PHBV. Generally asked as one mark question. So you have to write the full form. PHBV stands for poly beta hydroxy butyrate butyrate co beta hydroxy valerate. It is a polyester and co because it is a copolymer means it is made from two different monomeric species. Now what are the monomers? The monomers of PHBV are 3 hydroxy butanoic acid 3 hydroxy butanoic acid this is 1, 2, 3, 4 this is butanoic acid 1, 2, 3, this is OH. Complete the hydrogen. So it comes out to be this. This is 3 hydroxy butanoic acid. And the other one is 3 hydroxy, 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid. 3 hydroxy pentanoic acid. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. This is pentanoic acid. This is OH. Complete the hydrogen. This is H2. This will be H and this will be S2. So N units of this polymerize with N unit of this. Now OH from this and H from here are eliminated. So polymerization. This is condensation polymerization it takes place so what happens is minus n times of water now this will also be polymerized with this unit on this side so we will be writing it as ch this is o i am writing this here now this csc will be written here this is this much i have written then this is ch2 then this is co it will be linked this COO, then this carbon is there, CH, this is CH2, this is CO, it will be N times and here it will be these two carbon atoms, CH2 and CH3. So this will be the structure of PHBV. We have to only see which carbon atom is linked to which carbon atom to form the polymer. So this is PHBV. Another example of biodegradable polymer is nylon 2,6. Nylon 2,6. Because in this case the monomers comprise of two carbon atoms and the other monomer has six carbon atoms. Hence, it is designated as nylon 2,6. Let's see what are the monomers. The first monomer having two carbon atoms is glycine. 
Glycine is the simplest amino acid. Its formula is NH2CH2COH. So this is glycine. And the other polymer is having six carbon atom. This is again an amino acid. This is CH2 whole 5 COOH. Its name is amino caparoic acid. Amino caparoic acid. So N units of this that is glycine and N units of this that is amino caparoic acid. So OH from here and H from here polymerization will take place. N unit of water will be eliminated. So polymerization. It leads to the formation of this is NH. It will be linked from this side. This is CH2. Here what will remain is CO. It will be linked here to form amide linkage. This is CH2 whole 5. Then CO whole N. This is nylon 26. So these are two biodegradable polymers. After this the next and the last topic of the chapter is mechanism of polymerization. Before I take mechanism of polymerization, let's see two more polymers which are also asked in the exam. One is glyptal. Glyptal, the monomers are ethylene glycol. That is CH2OH. This is CH2OH. Means ethylene glycol. This is one monomer. So hence glycol. Gly comes from ethylene glycol. And thalic acid. Thalic acid is this. So we want thalic acid. Not terethylic acid as we are taken in case of terylene or dacron. This is 1,2-benzene dicarboxylic acid. So OH, so N units of this means N times of this. N times of ethylene glycol will undergo polymerization. The polymerization is condensation polymerization. So elimination of N times of water. So OH from here and H from here. So what will be left here is CH2, C, COO. This, this is linked to benzene. This way, this will be linked here N times. So the ester linkage is formed here. This is CH2 and this is O this way. So this is glyptal. One more is urea formaldehyde urea formaldehyde raise it as the name itself indicates its monomers are urea urea is NH2 CO NH2 and formaldehyde is CH2O so take N units of both N times of urea, N times of this. Eliminate N times of water. So this will be NH. Then CO. Then this is NH. Then this is CH2. This way. So this is urea formaldehyde resin. Another very important polymer. Now the last is mechanism of polymerization. There are two mechanisms of polymerization. One is adhesion. Number one, adhesion or chain growth polymerization. Chain growth polymerization. And the second one is condensation or step growth polymerization or step growth polymerization. 
वी हैव टू स्टडी एडिशन और चेन ग्रोथ पॉलिमराइजेशन लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट हैपेंस इन एडिशन और चेन ग्रोथ पॉलिमराइजेशन एज द नेम इंडिकेट्स इन दिस टाइप द मोनोमर्स सिंपली एड ऑन मोनोमर्स एड ऑन टू ईच अदर each other number 1 number 2 the monomers are unsaturated compounds unsaturated compounds which may be alkenes alkadienes as we have seen in case of rubbers or their derivatives or their derivatives it leads to increase in the chain growth it leads to increase in chain growth it proceeds via free radical or ionic species let's understand by taking one example where the polymerization takes place by free radical so let's take the formation of polythene so the three steps are involved in free radical polymerization in free radical mechanism what are these three steps these are number 1 initiation second one is propagation and the third one is termination third one is termination let's understand what happens in each of these steps initiation initiation means shuru hona for the initiation or the beginning of the reaction through free radical polymerization what is being required is free radical generating generating initiators 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 which act as catalyst for example benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide acetyl peroxide or it may be tertiary butoxide third aluminium butoxide now what happens in the initiation is c6h5 c double bond o this is peroxide linkage c double bond o this is c6h5 this is benzoyl peroxide benzoyl peroxide this is free radical generating initiator what happens is it undergoes homolytic cleavage which may be represented this way so it leads to the formation of c6h5 c double bond o o means two benzoyl free radicals are formed these are benzoyl free radical the benzoyl free radicals eliminate carbon dioxide and lead to the formation of two phenyl free radicals two phenyl free radicals now after the free radicals have been formed they have to initiate the reaction means they attack the monomer so c6h5 is a free radical this is the monomer addition takes place 
and another free radical is formed this is being formed now it further reacts with adds on another molecule of monomer to form C6H5 CH2 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 this free radical is formed the reaction is repeated say n times it leads to the formation of CH2 CH2 this is whole n CH2 CH2 so this is how first this is the initiation reaction and then this is propagation this is propagation means the chain propagates it grows in size so it leads to the formation of this bigger free radical this is n times now comes termination for the termination what happens is in termination reaction the free radical so form like this is a free radical c6h5 this is ch2 this is ch2 whole n ch2 ch2 it combines with another free radical of the same kind that is this these two electrons they just form a covalent linkage between this carbon atom and the reaction comes to an end so c6h5 this is ch2 this is ch2 whole n ch2 ch2 bond is formed here so this is how the polymer is being formed so this is all regarding this chapter so on the next one i'll be starting chapter 3 that is electrochemistry